Hello everyone, my name is Lanto90 and welcome to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program version 0.9. So, the game was starting to crash a lot again. Happens. So what I've done is I went through and I pretty much tried to figure out which mods did I really need and which ones did I, did I part with and I deleted everything that I felt like I could get rid of without compromising what I want the game to be like. Um... I installed the LTech mod since it was missing. I'm not 100% sure it's working right since this icon is just a big purple square right now. <laughs> but uh, I'll see. Mm -hmm. Let's see, have I hired all of the astronauts? Oh, there's more available, but I don't think I need to hire more. Because I think we're ready for our first uh, manned mission here. Some. Ships aren't going to work right. Blue Priest 3. What? cockpit to use, I guess this is the basic one. I really wish there was more capsules in this game. More mods to add more capsules, because some of these capsules are just kind of boring. Like, they have the Mach 1 and the Mach 2 one is like well, this one's like Mercury, and then this one's like Apollo, but there's no Gemini capsule. So yeah, there needs to be a few more capsules. And there's not even a, uh, I even one for Orion, which is kind of interesting since they added the space launch system and stuff. The Orion counterpart capsule Doesn't matter too much. Right, so some basic gear. Got rid of Coral Space Program X, so there's not the um, mini reaction wheel. It's fine, because the small one was the better one anyway. Oh, looks weird. That works. Oh no, I got rid of Tweet Scale, that's right. We're actually going to use the regular RCS then, possibly. These just so look so big. They look normal for like the look normal for like the larger capsule, but like this one's so small that everything's like gigantic on it. Yeah, it's just gonna have to use the stock RCS. It's not quite as efficient as the other one. Just wrap some solar panels onto it. This one has its own heat shield, so it shouldn't need more than that. I wonder if I should use the uh, these kind of decouplers instead. They fit the curvature of the bottom a little bit better. Yeah, well, just to make it look a little bit nicer. I think they have too much decoupling force, though. Production force of 250 compared to... No, it's 250 there, too. I used to throw my 
graft forward though, if I recall. So who's going to be our first Kerbal in space? Dorf, Samvin, Elric. Well, don't want to use Jebediah. Let's use uh, Samvin. Then we'll attach our science module. All right, this is a new kind of vessel, so see if three was our last orbiter, unmanned orbiter. Oh, hmm. Trying to think of something that sounds cool. We've used, used mythology so far for the first two, but. Hercules one, I suppose. For lack of better name. Hopefully we don't crash here. Okay. We're also using near instead of uh, FAR. More simple uh Realistic model of the atmosphere. Got this thing's bouncing around on me. You can see there's no button, so I don't know how you really test if it's working or not, other than trying to go to space. Which is a little bit scary. Particularly because on a manned mission, if you don't get into orbit, it's actually easier, safer to deorbit from orbit than it is to just uh, come down on a suborbital. Don't know if it's the same is true in real life, but it is here. Get more time to slow down when you go from orbital to suborbital. Orbital to landing instead of I forgot to turn on SAS again. Made that one rocket pretty much fail. Also, since there's no like menu thing for near, uh, I'll have that window to tell me if maybe I'm having too much side slip. My rocket. Angle of, angle of attack being too high or something. Try not to uh, do that. A little bit too fast, actually. Might expect that. But I'm going to pull back here. So that game for not letting me pull back. I think I think near is working. Because see the atmosphere is really fighting me here. Well that's not a that's not a very good sign because atmosphere is harder to drive in when it's 
Unmodded. I think Nier's working though, otherwise this won't have been enough fuel to get us into space, because our apoapse is now high enough. It's going around the night side. It's fine though. Could have time accelerated to avoid it, but I didn't do it. See how it's doing this little jiggle here? Why? Why are you doing that? I don't know. I wonder if they're going to make a patch for that. Like, 98% sure it's not from a mod causing an issue with that, because I don't have any mods installed that could affect that. Other than maybe here. Because we're in the atmosphere, but that means once we exit the atmosphere, then it shouldn't matter. About to exit it, so. Two percent fuel. <laughs> Two fuel units left. That's why we have the RCS, but it is a little bit it is cutting it a little bit close there. So I'll get over to the day side before I do anything. Also some mods have updated as well. I installed the uh Updated mods. Trying to turn that solar panel a little bit more into the sun. Actually, It's time to start getting our data here. Space curve and Asian scan. Video signal. EVA report. Forgot that doing the EVA report's a little bit risky. Because your Kerbal doesn't actually hold on to the rail when they exit in my modded versions here. Well, he's attached to it, but he f goes down really quick, so. Right now we can just wait for that thing to beep at us again. Doing the the old exit and get back in, take every, all the data out and put it back in trick so that you can keep gathering data. Hopefully this uh, 
SAS I added onto here doesn't add too much weight for a parachute to handle. Start to pass over some shores here. It's not the one I'm looking for. No? Sam then there you It's very tricky as it passes over the shores, it's only for a split second, you know. Suddenly music. Right. Go over this desert because there'll be quite a few little biomes here, as well as this mountain range. No, don't let go. And he immediately let go. Get the EVA report, please. I think we messed that one up because he didn't. Wouldn't work. I have more than an EVA report here. I don't understand. It'd be over the desert, yeah. I have more. More to run. Oh, he hasn't taken the data out. That's why. That makes sense. Oh, an EVA report. And they're gone. Right All right, good enough. Let's uh, figure out where the space center is. Probably wait till daytime. It's uh. Have them do some extended duration space flying here. Okay, let's go to the uh, space center. The uh, time accelerate from the tracking station, otherwise, it's going to take a while.
waiting for Space Center. So, because so it stayed on that window. Achilles one has been up there for three hours. So it's not so long. All right. So. I actually want to start. Slowing down now. There's the the consider the orbit of curve in here, but That should probably be good. be a little bit tricky because I have such a weird amount of fuel here. Actually delete the maneuver none. Do it manually at this point. That's kind of what I figured. All right, let's try that. Could be too much, could be not enough. I was just kind of curious how well... Uh, it's going to work here. Oh, see it? Look what it's doing. Like, what? Do, that doesn't make sense. Oh, now it's really messed up. It does that. I don't know why. Look at it. What's it doing? Doesn't make any sense, buddy. Game. What are you doing, game? Go to the space center and come back and see if that maybe fixes it. I don't know what that problem's about. I'm gonna have to put this video in the forums. See what's up. Could be one of my mods doing it, but I I don't think so. I don't think I have anything that could be affecting that kind of stuff. Uh, click EVL. Upper atmosphere, if we do this very carefully, he can get it. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. <laughs> Ending that upper atmosphere data is uh, very scary. Oh, and it's doing it again. Why is it doing it?
It's the piloting stuff. It does this. It's a rollable, actually. Show again. New. Okay. Stabilized again. I switched it to fine control to fix it a bit. Still, have to put it in fine control to make it work here. I don't think I gave enough uh, gave enough distance in front of the center to account for the uh, rotation of the planet. But hopefully, still down come down relatively close thanks to the uh, trajectories mod. But see what's that? Reaction wheel is not enough. I don't know about that, buddy. You have a uh, 162 electric charge there. That's, I think that's obviously the problem, whatever this is. I just don't know what that is, why it's doing that. And obviously has enough electrical charge. us to reach the uh, actual painful bit of the atmosphere. I would set it to hold the retrograde vector, but that's kind of what broke it last time, so. Have to... Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, it's time acceleration's on. That's part of it. See? What the f... Okay, we might be deep enough in the atmosphere. I can just turn SAS off. The uh, atmosphere will hold it in place, but... Squad, you, you gotta fix this, guys. Ninety-eight percent sure. The game, not a mod. Not exactly sure how to confirm that, but I don't can't imagine what mod would be doing that. Still on the dark side, which is kind of strange. Okay, we're nowhere near the space center. Uh, oh no, trajectories mod works. We did have a big tumble. Maybe that's why, but mm, I think trajectories mod isn't quite working right either.
It was like that before, though. It wasn't like new. The new update caused it. Could be just using it wrong. I don't think so, though. Hit the you know, thick part of the atmosphere here now. Well, since I'm not going to be landing close to home here, I'm going to turn the RCS on. Help slow us down. Also, just to burn some of its weight. Save like 2% for landing. Yeah, I'm not Yu Yang right now. Can't trick me, game. I want to turn on SAS to stop this little spin here, but just did it manually. Feel like the pod's gonna freak out if I turn on SAS. Right. Time to deploy the parachute. Things are safe enough I can accelerate. Until we get close to the gear. It's a thing. Parachute into place. Six point one meters per second. Tiny bit fast, not too bad though. Pod is a bit heavy, you can tell by how oh, hard it splashed down there. Ooh. Hold like that, please. Gay report. Flying over Kerbin's waters again. Die, please. That'd be very bad. Yo. Search a sample of Kurt's water. You report, I don't think spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? Well, it was, because since you did EVAs on the way here in space. Oh no. I might have to take him home separately. There you go. Alright. Report while splashed down. I can recover the vessel. Alright, lots of science. That's not the cool part though. Let's uh, save it here again. This is this. Oh, can't quick save on this menu. Crashed once on this menu before, it's kind of annoying. So this is the Final Frontier mod that I mentioned when we first started up the uh, game. It's a pretty cool mod where they earn ribbons and stuff, so you got first, uh, first Kerman Surface EVA ribbon. Splashdown ribbon awarded for a splashdown of vessel in water. Ribbon for flying horizontally at Mach 4 below 30,000 meters. Dangerous EVA award for executing a DVA while not in a stable orbit. That was from probably the, uh, Upper atmosphere one. 
uh, first Kerbin EVA ribbon for me and the first Kerbin EVA, first Kerbin orbital EVA ribbon. First EVA in space. An orbit ribbon. First Kerbal in space ribbon. Percent solid and rocket booster. Very cool stuff. Three, four, six, science. So now we can open up this and you can see if the ranks are. Shows how many missions the guy's done and all the achievements they have. It's pretty cool. But uh, we're out of time for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.